Have you ever heard of the sea squirt? It's a creature somewhere between fish and humans. More of a distant relative, really. In fact, it's a sponge-like creature, but when it's born, it becomes a tadpole, kind of. It's got an eye and a tail, very simple, and it uses that to swim around and find a home where it will live for the rest of its life. This is a big decision. It could choose a rock over there or over there, or it could even choose the side of a boat. Wherever it decides, it then latches on and stays there for the rest of its life. But interestingly, it eats its own brain. Because once it's found a home, the only home it'll ever know, it no longer needs a brain for moving about. So it absorbs it for the proteins that it gives and lives for decades after with no brain at all. In fact, I know a few people who like that. They just sit around all day, not using their brain much. In fact, the sea squirt gives us a clue as to what the brain evolved to do. It's definitely got something to do with movement. You know, we, there's some studies that even suggest that not moving about much during the day has a negative effect on our brain development. In fact, I can relate to that because whenever I sit down or, or stay still for long periods of time, I tend to find that I feel a lot worse afterwards. So I like to personally to get up and get moving every 20, 30 minutes uh, at most. I don't want to sit still for longer than that, even while meditating. In fact, I get worried about how often humans are more and more in the modern world staying still for hours and hours during the day. Not only is it uncomfortable and bad for our body and its muscles and posture, but it's literally making our brain worse. So, if you want a healthy brain, get up and get moving. Enjoy your day.